Mogli Group is uh, one of the companies who is presenting today at World Trade Center in our event, Investing in Life Science from Sea to Success. And I have here with me Justin Pierce, the CEO, who's going to tell us all about it, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much Great for coming here. here. Thank you. So could you please briefly introduce uh, Mogli Group? Absolutely. Uh, Mogli Group, obviously a life science company. Uh, we got two parts to the, to the group. Uh, the one part is a traditional CDMO where we're offering services, and contract manufacturing, development, um, this sort of thing. Uh, and then the other side is our innovation side where we have three technologies that we work with where we're innovating new products by utilizing our infrastructure in the CDMO to really propel those innovations into the market and to patients who need them. Perfect. So one part uh, produces and the other part sells it, right? Exactly, yeah. So can you tell me a little bit more about the products and services? Sure. I mean, on the service side, we have everything from chemistry services to upscaling to validation, sort of all the traditional services that you would expect from a CDMO. Um, and on the product side, I mean, over the last five years, we've launched three new products into the market. Uh, these are based on our degradable starch microsphere technologies. Um, and they were in the space of surgical, uh, minimally invasive surgery, uh, especially around the, uh, the cancer area uh, and also in the wound care segment. And uh, what sets you apart from your competitors? Well, I think it, it's a bit difficult for us to find direct competitors. Um, I think you're either a CDMO or you're or, an innovation yeah. company. Uh, and part of what we try to do there is build the infrastructure around the CDMO and utilize that to de-risk and reduce the financial strain on the company to do the innovation side. Uh, and I think that's what makes us a little bit unique, where we, we sort of have an approach to the business where we like to earn it first, and then we like to burn it on the innovation. <laughs> um, so we, we're not constantly in a, in a struggle for, for cash, as it were. And uh, the financial performance, if I may ask. Sure. Um, I mean, we, we've been in black numbers, uh, touch wood, uh, since 2016. Um, the company's continued to grow. I mean, 2015, we were at about 80 million sec in revenue. Uh, last year, we finished at around 170, just over 170 million. So the growth has been good. It's been steady. Um, and we believe in working towards, you know, it's a steady financial growth that we can sustain. Um, so we don't like to just build quick value in that's going to be out in three years. Uh, and this has been led a lot by the products we've launched into the market and also the investments we've taken in the CDMO to extend our offering down the value chain to customers. So we've attracted more customers on the CDMO side, but we've also put more products into the market. So that. you don't need any investors anymore, right? No, there's, there's, <laughs> always, there's always room for good investors. Uh, I think we particularly like patient investors who understand the life science industry. Um, and of course, infrastructural investment is expensive. Um, and we can still see that there's a lot of investment opportunity for us on that infrastructure. Um, and the company has also grown a little bit inorganically. This year we've done you know, two mergers and acquisitions. Um, those aren't cheap. Um, so it is a little bit about you know, what sort of capital can we have and how can we use that capital to, to grow the business. So there's always room for good investors. And uh, one uh, last and difficult question. Why? Mogli Group is a good investment case. Very short. Very short. Uh, I think because of our uniqueness. Um, we have real assets. We've got five manufacturing sites between Denmark and Sweden. Um, we've got a great portfolio of products, both on the drug side as well as the medical device side. Um, so I think from a, a risk perspective, we're probably a much lower risk than, than some of the other purely development companies. Good answer. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks for that, being here with us and me. good luck. Thanks.